You are the player. Super Cobra on the ClickVision game system. I remember this game in the arcade. It's uh, not one of my favorite arcade games to play. I much prefer to play Scramble from Konami. Uh, Super Cobra is one of those arcade games. While I'm not very good at playing video games in general, Super Cobra in the arcade was one of those games where it would throw me in a trash can, it would crinkle up the trash can, encase it in a CMOP block, and then throw it into the Marianas Trench. This game is so difficult for me to play. Much harder than Scramble. <laughs> Uh, it's actually a cool game. It has some really cool uh, gameplay features. Uh, these real small caverns you have to navigate through. You have missiles that not only shoot straight, in some levels, they shoot off at a 45 degree angle. So if you're not paying attention, you can easily get hit. Uh, object of this game, though, is just to get to the end, to get to the booty. Some kind of treasure. I've never seen the treasure at the end of this game. I'm lucky to get up to maybe... Stage 3, if I'm lucky. I don't think I've been past three, Stage 3 in the arcade before. I can't recall. I didn't play this game much because it frustrated me so bad. Anyway, we're talking about the ColecoVision translation of the game from Parker Brothers. Now, I've already talked about the version on the Atari 2600, the version on the uh, Intellivision, and there is also, there's also a version on the Odyssey 2. And it's not so charming. <laughs> anyway, pretty nice looking box art. They all look, all the boxes look the same across the different consoles. It's a neat looking box. This came from Electronics Boutique Games and Gadgets. And it was $14.99. I love Electronics Boutique. I used to go there all the time. It was a great store. Of course, on the back, it shows a nice little screenshot of the game. It's actually a good-looking game on the ColecoVision. Got a little description of the game on the back. You're a helicopter gunship pilot on a daring and dangerous mission. Air surveillance, enemy territory. Success depends on how far you can penetrate enemy airspace. Can you handle the pressure? Because the further you go, the more difficult the mission becomes. Show us that you've got what it takes by maneuvering your chopper around craggy mountain peaks through deep, dark tunnels, over tall city bidding buildings, all while you face enemy tanks and missiles and weird sky flying weapons. But you can fight back with your high-flying, quick-thinking, fast-reaction moves. Good luck and good flying. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's open the box up. Got a little manual in here. Nice. Goes through the gameplay. So you get your two fire buttons. One fire button fires your uh, your shots. The other fire button drops your bombs. Uh, this will uh, this game cramps the living daylights out of my hands. Show some of the different enemies. You got your straight rocket, your ground artillery, the flabbynoid, <laughs> the roof bomb, the fireball, the flying saucer, your fuel tank. You shoot those, get extra fuel for your gauge, and there's the booty. Awesome. A big dollar sign on a box. So there's like 11 sections. And each section has its own particular uh, problems to get through. So it describes all 11 of those. Talks about the booty when you get to uh, section 11. The object is to pick up the booty by swooping down and landing on it. And you get congratulations. And then the game starts all over again. <laughs> Got our scoring back here. Wow, clearing 1,000 miles, you get 1,000 points. That's cool. Hmm. Anyway, let's take a look at the cartridge here. Typical Parker Brothers cartridge. Nice label. That's some shiny plastic back there now. Very shiny. I love the Parker Brothers boxes. They're pretty cool. Alright, let's hook up the old uh, Collector Vision Phoenix. And let's watch how bad I play Super Cobra. <sighs> Go! 
I like how you have auto fire. That helps a lot with the cramping of the hands. I mean, it's not a bad version of the game on the Clayco Vision. It's just a game I don't really care to play too much of. I would have much rather had Scramble on the Clayco Vision than this game. But it is what it is. Parker Brothers did a pretty good job with it. Man, I hate these, these cameras. Oh, I missed the fuel tank. This is my first thousand miles? Nope. Out of the building. miles. I'll get him back into the cavern. Oh, now they're going to start shooting at me. Whoa! Oh! Willie got blasted. That was close. Ugh. Oh man, how are you supposed to get through that? As you can see in the ClickVision version, I don't get very far either. Time it just right. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you're not going to see much of this game. Because <laughs> Willie can't play it worth a darn. Oh, man, I just can't get that timing down. My last helicopter. Go! Ah! Rats. Press button to, to continue. See if I go. See if I get past this area. Let's go, let's go down and shoot him. That works. Okay, here's one that's really hard. Ah! Really? It's bad it starts all over again. It's very beginning of the cavern. Was stupid. I just flew right into it. Oh, really? There we go. Take him over the slant shot. Well, there's the trick. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah! Well, he does learn new things. 
fuel. Ah. Nope, so much for that. <laughs> 1950. That is so bad. My last helicopter. Oh, man, about all fuel. Hey, day. Hey, day. Nobody's running out of fuel. Game over. Press button to continue. No, I'm not going to continue. Anyway, that's <clears throat> Super Cobra for the ClickVision game system. A game I'm not really fond of. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. The Player. Charlie, Charlie. I play on Coleco Beach.